Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a video that's been going around like crazy on YouTube. I've seen so many of these in my subscription in my subscription box and my recommended and all that kind of stuff. So I want to do my own version today. I'm doing a reading people's assumptions about me video. I thought it was a cool idea, so I'm gonna go over to my Instagram where I asked you guys to assume some things about me. If you're not following me, please do that if you want to. Just check out my pics and stuff like that. I've been trying to post as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. I don't even know where to start, there are so many. You secretly ate a squid. What? Okay, um, really try hard. Okay, um, I mean, I guess you can think that about me. I mean, obviously I work really hard on my videos and all that kind of stuff, but I don't try to be someone I'm not. I'm definitely myself on camera and I act the same that I do in person as I do on camera. You can even ask my friends that, like I'm the same. So I'm just being myself, at least you're honest. Also, um, I do seem like a basic girl with this sweater. I feel like every YouTuber has this sweater, but that you are missing home a lot more than you show. If you guys didn't know, I'm a freshman in college at UNC Wilmington and I live in a dorm, so I'm away from my family. And I was so scared about being homesick when I came to college. Missing people and being homesick are two different things. So just because I'm not homesick doesn't mean I don't miss my family because I miss them all the time. But I'm also very happy to be here. You're so nice to everyone around you. You appreciate the little things and you love your family so much. Yes, this is true. That's something that I have always kind of done, I feel like, especially these past few years. But I don't know. I just try to appreciate the things around me, find positivity in things, even though sometimes I can still be negative. And then I love my family with all my heart. So spot on, girl. You're kind of awkward. Awkward but friendly. This is actually funny because I've gotten a lot of assumptions that I've seen so far that assume that I'm like a little bit awkward, which I think is funny because honestly I am a little bit awkward. I can talk to people easily, I'd say, but like I guess sometimes I just get wrapped up in my head and then I say something awkward. I don't know. Some people might disagree, but I definitely think there's awkwardness in me. I feel like everything I do is awkward in some way, so I guess, I guess maybe it's obvious. <laughs> That you always had a humorous personality, but used to not show it in your old videos. Yes, that is so true. In my older videos, I did like DIYs and stuff, which I loved at the time. That was definitely something that I enjoyed doing. But I was not able to show my real personality, I feel like. I felt like I just had to be some perfect poised person on camera. And luckily, now my videos, I just let myself loose. I show my humor. I definitely like to laugh at things a lot. And I definitely show that in my videos. I have a very weird sense of humor, but luckily now I just throw it out there and hope that people think it's funny or just are entertained by it. I don't know. You were a goody-goody in high school. Yes, I was a goody-goody in high school. I never broke the rules, really. It wasn't like a party or anything in high school, so you got that right for sure. You probably dance like Miranda Sings. This is actually funny because I do dance like Miranda Sings. I do it as a joke because Miranda Sings, I was obsessed with her videos for a while. I got a lot of my humor from that kind of stuff. So if I'm like in a funky mood, just dancing around with my friends, I will dance like Miranda Sings. Like it's just bound to happen. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you don't know Miranda Sings, you're gonna think I'm insane. You're probably judging me right now, but that's what I like to do, so. You are a secret ASM artist since your voice is super calming. So many people have told me that my voice is calming in my videos, which I don't see how, but I mean, I guess that's a compliment, so thank you. I'm definitely not a secret ASM artist, so. <laughs> You lost your virginity since you started at UNCW. No, I did not lose my virginity since starting college. I, that did not happen. You smoke weed. No. I do not smoke weed. Just not something that I do, but I don't judge it if you do do that. I just personally do not. You have a crush on one of your friends in college. Mm, um, mm, I'm gonna go with no. You have a secret boyfriend. <gasps> I do not have a secret boyfriend. Um, I think that's funny that you assumed that though. You haven't had your first kiss. Actually, I have had my first kiss ever since the last time I updated you guys. So that is a different story for a different day. You and your roommate get along 95% of the time. Not 100% because not everyone is perfect, lol. Sophie and I, she's my roommate. We are like best friends. I love her so much. She's basically my sister. I could not have been more lucky to have such an amazing roommate. Obviously, you're not gonna get along 100% of the time, but Sophie and I have never really had a fight. I mean, maybe like a few small arguments, if you can even call it that. We know like when to give each other space because we know each other really well since we literally live together. So I don't know. We like know when to be quiet. We know when to talk. It's a good system and I could not be more grateful for that. I couldn't have asked for a better roommate. <laughs> Um, you're secretly in love with Jacob Sartorius. <laughs> Camilla, you know the answer to that. And the answer is no. What is he even up to these days? I don't keep up. What is this piece of hair doing? Oh well, oh well. that you're amazing. Oh, Mikhail. 
my twin, love you, that you are a stone cold <laughs> female dog. <laughs> Olivia sent this in. She's so kind to me. I love her so much. Just kidding. I actually do love you so much. You and Sam are very close. Yes, Sam is my brother. If you didn't know, he's 14 and I would say we're very close. Obviously, we fight sometimes, but Sam, if you're watching this, um, FaceTime me that you're coming out of your shell a little more this year. I love you so much, so oh, I love you too. And yes, I definitely am starting to find myself more in college and I've realized that I'm not as shy as I thought I was. In high school, I was way more quiet, but now I just feel like I have a fresh start and I can really let myself out more easily than I used to be able to, which I'm so happy about. You are desperate for a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm definitely not desperate for a boyfriend. I am not even like looking for one. If it happens, it happens and that's great. But if not, like I'm trying to be happy, just, you know, living my life, doing my own thing. And eventually I know someone is gonna come into my life that is meant to be with me and I just have to like live it out. I feel like every college student at some point is like, I'm gonna be forever alone. But it will happen eventually. Definitely like the opposite of desperate for a boyfriend. But I'm also not opposed to having one, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? You like Zane. Oh my God. If you guys didn't know, Zane lives on my floor. His room is right across from mine. <laughs> Dang, um, I'm just kidding. That you secretly filmed all of your vids years and years ago and you have kids and a family now. What if I actually was like, you caught me, oh my gosh. Except I wouldn't even be able to film this if that happened. Imagine if I literally was like 30 and I had kids and a family right now and I was just posting these from years ago. That'd be weird, that kind of messed with my mind a little bit. You're that student that has their life together. <laughs> I would not say that I have my whole life together. I feel like I'm kind of a mess, but like also organized at the same time. I have this planner that I just got and I've written down everything that I have to do and there's just so much going on. Some days I'm good about being productive, other days I'm just like, I don't feel like doing anything. And then I'll get distracted with friends and then just like sorority stuff and it's all this is going on and I feel like my life is a mess, but then I also like still manage to get everything done usually. I'd say that I am an organized messy, if that makes any sense. My life is a mess, but I somehow have it together at the same time, but then it could fall apart easily the next day, if that makes any sense at all. The way that I explained that should probably answer the question for you. You jewel. No, 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 no. I do not jewel. I am not into the nicotine stuff like that. I think it is a big problem in our society. I'm not gonna judge you if you jewel. I don't judge you, but I, I worry about your health later, if that makes sense. We don't know the long-term effects. That's all I have to say. You'd rather stay in than go out. Actually, okay, I do like to go out and have fun on the weekends. I don't go like crazy. I'm not some crazy party girl, but I do like to go out and hang out with friends and be social, talk to people. I'd say that I go out every weekend, not on weekdays, cause like I have homework and stuff. But I also do enjoy a nice night in. You're an egg. I mean, I guess. Yes, I am an egg, as you can see. You're super popular in college. The thing with college is there's not really any popularity, if that makes sense. It's not like high school, there's no social hierarchy. So popularity doesn't really exist, which I love. I hate that kind of stuff. I have a good group of friends. I love my friends so much. I have different friend groups and I could not be happier with that. I still love making new friends. There's no popularity. I feel like just as long as you're happy with your group of friends and put yourself out there and meet new people, that's really all you need. You're dealing with too much and you're wearing a mask to cover it. Dang, that got deep. <laughs> I definitely don't wear a mask to cover it. Like, if I'm not having a good day, I'm gonna let you guys know that if I'm filming that day or something. I'm not gonna like act like everything's fine. If it's not, that's what I hate about social media is that it can be fake sometimes. So I try to be as real as I can. You have an eating disorder and you stress about food. I've talked about this a little bit in one of my what I eat in a day videos from last year. I don't have an eating disorder, but I definitely have struggled with food and I still struggle with my relationship with food on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm working on it myself. I've seen a therapist for it. Everything's under control. I'm just trying to get like a nice intuitive eating like healthy relationship with food state if that makes sense So I might make a video on that eventually once I like figure it out myself along the way Because I feel like that could help a lot of people since so many people feel the exact same way as me That actually gave me like a cool video idea. So thank you for that. You don't curse a lot. That is true I do not curse a lot. I don't really curse in general It just like doesn't really work coming out of my mouth and I just it never like occurs to me really I say frick a lot <laughs> Frick! I feel like weird when I curse but like it does not bother me at all when other people say it but you're right, I definitely do not do it on a regular basis. You like pineapple on pizza. Yes, I do like pineapple on pizza. It's just, it's so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to. All right, guys, those are all the assumptions I'm gonna answer for you today. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I think it was cool to see like what you guys think of me. Hopefully you guys got to know me more this way too. So if you're still watching to this point of the video, comment stripes, since I'm wearing a striped sweater. Oh shoot, I just dropped my phone. So anyway, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching. Follow my Instagram if you guys want to, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!